Keep thing. winning and let those people keep calling your name. That's it. People will just keep, keep talking about name. me and mm. yeah, keep I'm talking okay. about me and just keep getting me paid. Surfshark VPN is a great new way to secure your internet. It's easy to use and designed with the users in mind. Surfshark protects your passwords, private messages, mm. photos, uh-oh, videos too. Don't go on my phone. When traveling, it can overcome location-based price discrimination on things such as plane tickets and car rentals by connecting to the VPN servers in different countries, man. It helps oh, you shit. not get locked out of your bank account when you're abroad by connecting to your country's VPN server to avoid a bank account freeze. You don't want that. No. Not at all. Hell no. So with Surfshark, you can watch Netflix from other countries and libraries. For a limited time, get 83%. That's great, man. Off a two-year plan plus three extra months, Mike. Wow. And an antivirus for free. And that's surfshark.deal slash hotboxing to protect your online privacy today, man. Like today, man. I'm ready, baby. Let's Help go. me out. My favorite features of Surfsharks are that one subscription allows you to install and run Surfshark on multiple devices. There's a 24-7 live consumer support that ensures you any issues will be solved. There is a 30-day money-back guarantee, and that gives users time to Surfshark risk-free. You know, the best is the new antivirus feature, which scans for viruses and malware. This scans your devices for harmful programs, apps, documents, and files. It has a real-time protection to maintain your security and privacy when you download, install, or use programs and files, Mike. Surfshark schedules your scans so you can de decide when to scan. All you have to do is go to surfshark.deal slash hotboxing and use code hotboxing to get 80% off a two-year plan, plus three extra months, Mike. That's a deal you should not miss out, man. <laughs> Holy oh, man. wow. I'm signing up. Again, that's surfshark.deal slash hotboxing. Remember that. For a limited time, my audience can now get antivirus for free when signing up. Woo-hoo. Now it's time to announce the winners. A word? Congratulations, Mike, on winning Moneyline Giveaway. You're coming to see Hotboxing Live. Can't wait to see you in September. I can't wait either. Awesome. Big time, brother. Love it. I love it. I love it. And remember, every time you money, be a money lion. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Yeah. I don't even know what it does. Hello, this is another episode of Hot Boxing. Today, we have Mike Tyson. DJ who? Kid, you wankers. Prize guest, Steve-O. And the one, the only. The Patty main dish. motherfucking bad. How you doing, brother? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for having me. Hey, Happy man. to be here. What's the, what's the big thing? That's, we all, all we hear is about Patty the baddie, Patty the baddie. <laughs> I never even saw you before, but, it's, but it feels like you're a family member. Yeah, it is. How do you get all this notoriety? Fat Patty the baddie. <laughs> I've been uh, on the end of everyone's song, lad. Everyone loves talking about me, don't they? Yes, I agree. I agree. Don't worry. Be happy. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yes, forgive me. I smoked a few drinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell me, man, how do you know my man Steve-O? Well, we met for the first time the other night, didn't we? Let's Wait, was it literally just this last weekend? That's crazy. Yeah. It was. So yeah. less than a week ago. Le less than a week ago Patty on Saturday. Patty was not fighting. I was at the, the UFC event in San Diego, mm -hmm. headlined by Cheeto Vera. And Patty shows up just as a spectator, just goes to sit in the seat in the crowd. What? And because Patty walked into this arena without being on the Jumbotron, he was not presented on the video screen, just him walking into the arena started the entire arena chanting, oh, Patty the Batty. He gets a chant walking into the fucking arena like 
Nobody gets that. He's only fought in the UFC three times. He has yet to see a third round. All straight finishes. Wow. He's got this fucking dance that he does when he wins. <laughs> he's he's Where is like, it? Can you do it? Can you show it to us? Yeah, give it, Come it just on. Give it just a comes out. Give, give, you guys give know. You guys show man. it. It just yeah. comes yeah. out. It's not, I mean, like, it's, it's not rehearsed. Not, it just happens. I mean, dude, I believe that to be true. I believe that to be true. Really? This kid is like legit <laughs> Fucking star power, just condensed fucking shit. It factor and and like it, it, in interviews in the we just come watched. on, let's put him on tell Let's see the shit he's doing. I okay. like this one. Laura didn't like this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nah, I don't think you could do that here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that was in March. That one. Are you entertained? Yeah. <laughs> are you serious? That was just said that after that fight, yeah. Are you not entertained? Yeah, are you not entertained? And dude, did you see my tweet on the screen? I fucking I wrote, I am entertained. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a Go, that was a good night, that one. The last one was even better though, to be honest. Yeah. I you mean just get bigger and better every time and we're gonna continue to do so. This is just the start. I mean, it, here's the thing. It's the start of a serious fucking battle, dude. You are in a gnarly division, dude. Oh, let's 155. Me about it. <laughs> so you've not yet fought a ranked opponent. No, and I probably won't do for another for year while, or two. Yeah, keep mm -hmm. fighting, get, yeah. get your experience. I probably won't for experience. another year or two because there's no point in rushing. I'm only 27. I'm just going to keep building. Right. Do you think that Sugar Sean O'Malley is a little bit early to be taking on Piotr Jan? It's a. It's a big step up, like, but at the same time, it's a win-win for him, isn't it? Because right. no one really expects him to win. I um, like I like him. I want him to do well. Yeah, I do. He's trying to yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's a big jump up in competition, it is. It's a great take on it that it's a win-win. No one expects I saw him lose the fight yeah. when he didn't really lose. He broke his leg. He'd have kicked this guy's fucking ass. Right, that was Cheeto. Yeah. yeah, that was Cheeto. Won the other night. He's been on a win streak since yeah, that fight, though. He's on one. Molly, um, that guy, I think that young guy has a lot of potential. Yeah. Yeah, O'Malley's great. O'Malley, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm one of his... He's got that star yeah. star power like Patty the Batty. If he wins this fight, he'll be number one contender. Ooh, oh, that's awesome. You know I mean? It's Cause, insane. Cause I want him Jan's to do well. number one and he'll num rank number one or number two. You know what I mean? So He's cool. He's classy. Dude, it's insane. So you have this, this fucking thing that nobody's ever seen. We've never seen a UFC fighter, let alone like a, a star like celebrate putting on insane amounts of weight I don't like, like after fights. I don't like celebrate it. You know well, I mean, I, mean, but dude, like, I know what you mean. I just laugh at people who try and say something about me because I don't care. I mean, dude, <laughs> like, like you... I don't want the random person on the internet what they've got to say isn't going to change my life. You know what I mean? Dude, I, I love that. And let's be clear, you're absolutely celebrating putting on weight deliberately, making videos of like eating, going out. I like, is that true? I, I, I like pizza and all that. I love, yeah. I love food, love. 100%. He's making videos deliberately to just. To just wind these people up. <laughs> I mean, dude, and, and he's going out of his way to put on like, like it's what? Like, that's not going out my way, though, I'll be honest, lad. It's really not going out my, my way. I just eat that much food. I promise you, lad. Like, People, sort of, not that many people in here will have food with me. Like, well, the few people in here who've food with me will, Dude, will tell you, I finish everyone else's food and then get multiple desserts. You know what I mean? So I'm, we're talking about like what five Big Macs, two hot dogs. I'm talking like three fries. on an average day, lad. After a fight, I'm eating See, like listen, six thousand. What are you twenty seven? He's twenty seven years old. His body can digest this. Yeah, five the metabolism at, for now is still. <laughs> He, paying listen, the bills, lad, you know what I mean? The metabolism's doing big bits. But right. It mightn't in a few years. But as I say, when I end up fighting ranked opponents, I'm not going to do this. I just I mean, know I can't do it. Dana White now. worrying about you right now. Dana I know White's what I like, mean. There's the not more, more shit you need to ask Dana going on in the world that you've got to ask him about my weight. It's getting fucking old now, lad. <laughs> Jesus. Dude. When Dana I saw you at the arena, <laughs> I, I, I had to run over to your section and ask you for a photo. I was so fascinated by your <laughs> star power. Like, I took photos with three people that night. Actually, two people. Fucking you and Rob Machado, the surfer. Yeah. And I had another photo that Dana White was, like, in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Random. I mean, I always take photos with Dana, so, like, I didn't even bother with it that night. All I wanted was Patty the Batty, dude. <laughs> yeah, it was a, Patty the fucking Batty. It was name. a good little venue in there, though. Like, it was, it was great. The atmosphere was good. 
It was a good little show. It did. It was fucking fantastic. Can you describe a weight cut? Like when you're when you're. Well, that people think that I cut excessive amounts of weight when I don't. People think people think that I cut loads of weight. Like I'm trying to think of people like. Well, the people see you. Hey, I can't talk to you right now, Scooter. I'm here in front of my. I'm with Patty the Batty. I'm with Steve O. (laughs) I'm on my show right now. Everybody say hi to Scooter. Yes, Scooter. (laughs) See ya. Huh? <laughs> He's out of his mind. Everybody loves you all. <laughs> all right. All right, love, brother. Yes, yes. And and, and Mike Sorry called about Scooter. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what was he saying? That? I, I don't know. Mike decided yeah. it was time to call Scooter, oh, yeah, I think. Call. He called me with me. I oh. to, I'm fucking I got to pick up the fucking phone. Okay? <laughs> All right. Take care, brother. Love. I got to pick up the fucking phone. Love okay. me in My bad. <laughs> <laughs> is Patty bugged out right now that you're hanging with Mike, man? Like, yeah, this is... Coming from this where is, you come from. Like. Yeah, this is Listen, shit, love. They had to tell me who Patty was. I said, hey, this is Patty the Bad. I said, we got to get this motherfucker. Get the name alone. <laughs> the name alone, Patty the Bad. And I said, once he get here, we're going to find out what he's about. <laughs> Dude, I didn't know shit about Patty. Yeah, in the UK, though, a baddie doesn't mean what it means in America. You know what I mean? People in America laugh when they give me a name, but it doesn't mean that in the UK. You know what I mean? Baddie means you're crazy as a motherfucker in America. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yeah. I thought he was talking about, like, women or something. No, yeah, baddie is crazy yeah. as a motherfucker. So, oh, yeah, you could say that, then. I am crazy as a motherfucker. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> yeah. That's why we thought it was baddie for that reason. <laughs> so now back to this weight cut thing, okay? Oh, yeah, the most, like, now, I cut, like, like in the past when I've, I've fought, I've fought at 135, 145, 155. In the past, I've done big, I've done 19 pound overnight. What? I mean. Well, right, because I'm, you're clearly cutting a lot of weight because but, as soon like, as your then, over... Like, I had bad health problems because of it, so I had to step up in weight, and now I only do, like, 11 pound overnight, which is not It's easy. I mean, it's... Okay. Is that doable, Mike? You ever heard of this shit? What, overnight? Yeah. Overnight, though. Well, Hot, fat, sauna, you know what I mean? It's yeah, I mean, done. working out all day, yeah. I mean, dude, the shit people do to cut weight is gnarly. Listen, I... imagine the guy, listen, he's going to run five miles, he walks it back. He might eat some soup when he goes home. <laughs> and that's what? it. Okay, we've seen people cut off dreadlocks to make weight. I go, like, I asked Chuck Liddell... Uh, has anybody ever fucking like donated a pint of blood to make way? No. And he didn't. He couldn't say one way or the other. You think yeah, anyone's done that? That's a good idea, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ne- a pint. I've is never 16- thought of that, but that's a very good idea. A pint is sixteen ounces. That's a whole fucking pound right well, there. Like I'm gonna sell that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sell Dude, that blood. Yeah, win win. You need to fucking make way and fucking make some sell money. It. Get some cash money but in the bank. The thing bank. is, like, like uh, I think the Chuck- blood bank's trying to get it free though. Yeah, that's not cool. I think that that, that, that that would deplete you pretty bad, right? Yeah. You, you wouldn't want to have to I don't to do reckon that. you'd want to do that anyway, you know, to be honest. You know, I, as you I get don't. older, that's not going to be healthy for them. Like we lo- it's water weight what we lose, isn't it? Like, so the more muscles yeah. you have, it's easier to... The more water comes out of your muscles. It's not just that we get in baths and that, it's the week leading up to it. No carbs, very low calories, eight liters of water a day, flush all the salt out your system. Do you drink, Patty? Alcohol. Oh, look, he's from England. I'm asking somebody from England, do they drink? There's no AA in England. I am. <laughs> I'm not a big drinker. Like, I have a little go. Who oh, man. That's no... I, most of the guys from Manchester are murderers and drinking. Yeah, Molly loves a bevy. I'm, me and her are opposites. I love food. That's good food. Me for Molly. She's been around the UFC for a while. Yeah. And she's always been great fun. But since you came into the UFC, Molly has just started to shine and glow. And you two together are like this unbelievable. Wow. Yeah, we, this, uh, we sound like, aren't we? I mean, it's, 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 it's unbelievable. The way, that, <laughs> uh, the way that you guys have, like, you fight on the same cards. You, you cheer each other on. And, yeah. like, you do podcasts Whoa, together. Career highlights, yeah, once this from. Look at her, yo. Oh, it's from 2020, that. I don't even think they don't even have any Whoa. of the new stuff on, the spinning back elbows and that. <laughs> need, a, need the new thing. I want to fuck you up. So she can fuck me up, huh? Yeah, she sends some bears to the Shadow Realm, like. That's the one where she, that's the Shadow Realm one, yeah. I think you've probably seen this, like, Mike. Excuse me? You've probably seen this. Let's check it out. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no, this is, is this the latest one? 
the, this one looks uh, fairly This is the recent. latest one, yeah. This is when we fought the other week. This is when she's doing shoeies. Yo. Oh, yeah, she puts on your patty wig and then drinks the howler head. Oh, yeah, nota. I think it'll show the replay, you know? Or does it just show the celebration? Yeah, that's a shy video, that BT Sport for you. <laughs> UFC is the toughest shit to look up on YouTube. Oh, it is. Like they just ban everything, don't they? Yeah, I'm surprised soft, they lad. got that. We got MSG coming up, Madison Square Gardens in November. Like, uh, they're who are you be... fighting? Well, no, they, I'm not you fighting gotta... on it. No, you're not fighting. What's no. happening in New York? I'm waiting for Vegas. We only talking. Vegas. We, we talking December. about somebody else. Well, no, Molly's like... fighting on it. Yeah, Molly's fighting on it. Oh. Yeah. Molly's fighting on it. I don't think they'll have a highlight on there, but it's against the the the, the elbow was against what was her name? Carolina. Car no, that was the latest one. No, the bet the better one is when she shadow realm this one. I swear. You still like her. Because I haven't seen her. Yeah, that one. There was an error with this video. <sighs> Fight pass is absolutely yeah, slacking here. They're going in on us today. What's what happened? It doing? What's going on? They got Rose. Rose is my You'll baby. find it somewhere on YouTube, like Defo. Look that girl. She looks mean as a motherfucker. Luciana. And it, was, it was Carolina, something, I know that. Is it Meatball Molly or is it Molly <laughs> Meatball? Well, you know why she's got that nickname, don't you? No. She used to work in Subway. Oh, epic. Oh, my God, yeah. Well, she used to work at Subways. Yeah. Molly Meatball. Skip it up towards <laughs> the end, the third round. Or is that after she's won? Yeah, go back. That's the belt, baby. You ever watch fights, who kid? I kind of can't picture that. Um, uh, my sons do. Dude, I do not miss. Do not watch MMA. They're, they're so vicious. Dude, it's not. I watch it. It's very it's technical. Like blood everywhere. That's why I watch it. If it was wimpy, I wouldn't watch it. <laughs> dude, I don't miss a fight, dude. If it was like, hey, ooh, I'm sorry, I would have watched that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's roundabout now, to be honest. Oh, she fucked over a jab. Come on, bitch. This bird had like a 10 inch reach so advantage on her as well. Yeah. Look at that bitch. Come on, bitch. That's all I Mike am. knows all about them reach disadvantages. Look at that long ass reach. Look at her. Ooh. <laughs> long feet and shit. <laughs> look how tall she is. Oh, down she's oh, oh. that bitch. Wow. Yeah. Total knockout. Uh, what happened there? Like, she's yeah. Oh, yeah, oh. there it is. Oh, oh. mother. Ooh. Polly, Molly with the meatball Polly. <laughs> <laughs> just elbow them, just shadow realming people, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, that was a It was shadow. scary, to be honest, because the other girl didn't wake up for like five minutes. It was, it was proper scary. Yeah, they're pretty good about, like, kind of yeah. going around in the past. Yeah, time. yeah. <laughs> you think he's waiting for Vegas, man. Uh, all the fighters are trying to cheat their way to go up against you. Oh Ooh, yeah, well, every, everyone's you mentioning get that me, payday, lad. Payday, baby, That's that it. payday. Everyone's Ooh. mentioning me, lad. You know what I mean? Right. So I did a day in interview, and the person who done the interview tried to consume me words as always. The haters, man, the haters. Yeah, um, I said everyone's obviously trying to fight me because I've got like nearly two million followers on Insta, mm. and all these have got about they don't have 2, twenty. Yeah, followers. you've got about twenty thousand followers on that. You know what I mean? And some interview yeah. the other day tried to say that I said. Uh, I'm not fighting people because they haven't got under 1,000 followers. I'm not. I said, because most of them haven't got under 1,000 followers. Do you want to fight me? Yeah, exactly, right. who, who are some, I heard you say that about somebody recently, but, but uh, like, who, who's called you out? And you said, um, no, a few people have called me out. Lad. I, don't, I don't mention anyone by name. Yeah, there you go. Better call. Yeah, I don't mention anyone yeah. by name. I don't need to talk about anyone by name because yeah. no, one, no one's asked about anyone else. Yeah, silence is the deadliest weapon. Yeah, people care about me and want to know who I'm fighting. Yeah. Not day fighting. Yeah, you're on Mike Tyson's podcast. That's right. Exactly. Their mothers don't even care about doing their lose. They lose everybody's right. Yeah. They compare you to Conor McGregor. Is that is that crazy? Like it's that's... mad. Like obviously, but I'll, mm. I'll be honest. I've been getting compared to him since like 2014, 15, when I first started fighting on Cage Warriors. I've been getting compared to him since then. Wow. I mean, Jesus, man. I mean, that's a legend right there, man. Now you oh, got proof. That's dude. a great comparison. Flavor Flav <laughs> called me, and I didn't know. <laughs> hey, don't, don't forget, this is Patty the Batty's interview. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Speaking of, you know, speaking of rappers, man, where, where's your Rolex at, man? This guy made Drake like three million. Oh or yeah, something. this isn't Drake. Never got me this one, lad. You know what Drake, I, mean? Drake I got didn't myself get you that this one? one after me first ever performance bonus. Drake didn't get me this. No, I got this what? myself. Um, I got so this he didn't year. get you the Rolex yet, no, yo. Drake. Where's me Rolex? Yo, Drake, I know you're not like that. <laughs> there it is. Three point some million. He bet lad, it on his fight. Me and Molly are still waiting. We're waiting the, patiently for the, for as well. Been guys, been there, right? You know, you it's know going on, lads. If it was Stormzy, you would have been <laughs> had your watch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Coming up him. in the UK hip hop, man, is that a, an influence in your fighting game and shit um, like that? I, Stormzy. Well, I always listen to, like, I listen to, is, more, <laughs> listen to more UK gram now than I do, like, modern American rap. Don't really listen. I only listen to, like, old school rap. Yeah, and then, the like, classic. Grime from the UK, yeah. UK rap is wow. I mean, the classic guys are like Giggs, Skepta. Yeah, yeah they're the, the, the I old did all those mixtapes back in the day. Yeah, oh, Kano, oh my God. Yo, this guy is crazy. I saw you with Stormzy recently. Yeah, Stormzy's a belter. <laughs> <laughs> What's a belter? The gangster. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Shit, all right. okay. Good. Fucking nigga up, yo. I was that. Uh... <laughs> Molly nearly snapped his collarbone for him. Like, see the video of Molly picking him wow. up? Wow. Molly picked him up, and I had to put my hand under his shoulder to make sure he never fell on his head. <laughs> when she high seed him. You know what I mean? That's wow. what I <laughs> If you live in um, England and um, UK, you have to be a gangster. <laughs> you know, especially if you, you live in those poor st um, towns and states, you have to make money. I mean, For you sure. guys were talking about it earlier, the, the, the wild parts of UK you guys were in. There's loads of wild parts I mean, in the UK. Wh where'd you say you were at? It was crazy. Listen, a bunch of them, um, Doncaster, all those places. Um, where, 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 you, where you from? Yeah, Liverpool, Liverpool mm. Manchester. Real bad, oh, real bad stuff. Is Darren Till from Liverpool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Darren's from Liverpool. Darby, Duncaster, all those crazy little... Darren Till's been stepping places. out of line. Who? Why Darren Till. Leaking Ariel Helwani's cell phone number and shit like that. So like, <laughs> like, by poking... <laughs> 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 well. I, I'm back in Ariel. <laughs> and, and, uh, I'm back in Darren. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about him fucking with DC, Daniel Cormier? Why would he say to DC? He said uh, they accused him of um, biased commentating. Oh, I think about, I think half the roster have accused him of biased commentating. There you wow. go. There you go. I withdraw. I, I recant my criticism of Darren have, though, Till. <laughs> A lot of people have. A lot of people have criticized him. I haven't. I, I'm not asked. There you go. So what you want to buy my fights. You've, you've converted me. I'm out there, Team Till. <laughs> Converter. Yeah, dude. Team Till. But it's crazy. Is it true that UFC is kind of like molding you, like keeping you, like slowing you down so you could be like the know. greatest in the next couple of years? Or be nice if they are. Like, I mean, I mean, don't, I mean, <laughs> they're, they're, losing the fights. Don't they think they don't. I don't think they don't. They've ever done that with anyone, lad. But mm. if they don't want to do that with me, I'm. You're more for it. I'm. I mean, yeah. I'm. I'm, in, I'm send me the RSVP and I'll be there. <laughs> Yo, Mike, you got to get him to do your, that dance he did on you. You got to do it, Mike. Put some music on. What song? What music? <laughs> I, I'm not doing no Wait, dance. Mike, I'm just joking, man. Yo, just he was just... pumping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's dick, baby. Yeah, Laura doesn't like that dance. <laughs> Is it true that you, uh, like, abuse your money for charity? You're not, like, these idiots out here in America? That's not abuse. I'm, I'm exaggerating. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's try and help. You know what I mean, I just try yeah. and help. I think people who have got the sort of platform that we've got should help. You know what I mean, give back a bit. Fucking nice you know guy. I mean? You were talking about that earlier. Yeah, it's just guy nice is. to be nice. We we. I know watched... people that have millions won't give shit. Nobody yeah. won't give ten dollars to nobody. Nah, won't give shit to nobody begging. Yeah, that's fucked up. We uh we showed Mike your post fight interview where you went from. Teabagging a motherfucker. You submit. Literally. You submit this guy. I forget his name. Dorky guy. Yeah. And, and you submit. Like farted in his face. He's a good fighter though too. Yeah, Levin. He, yeah, Jordan Levin. You submitted him. You fucking said you were gonna submit him and then teabag him. And sure enough, you submit him and you're like basically rubbing your ass cracking balls on his Sheesh. head. He done around. well though, didn't he? Got up quick. He was like, yeah. oh, 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 oh. So I only yeah. done it twice. Well, that hurt, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and then... So that ass he, coming. <laughs> all to the face. You go from teabagging him to giving this, like, just fantastic 
post-fight interview, and then all of a sudden switching gears, you politely said, can I say a few words? And what you had to say about your friend who you lost to suicide and, and uh, speaking up for mental health and, and, and guys talk, it was fucking stellar. As I say, once again, I just think people in my sort of position or our sort of position should do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? We've got like a platform for a reason. Use it for good. Mm. And like that's one of the best reasons that I can think of to use it for. Literally, the amount of men who kill themselves nowadays, it's the like the highest killer in men between like 21 and 45 or something. You know what I mean? Wow. And like no one talks about it. it no one cares. It's over at 45 years old. Yeah, doesn't, no, doesn't get no funding. It's just, I mean, dude, and just the the way that you delivered those words was was just so authentic, and uh, it did. It just wasn't. You weren't like doing it for like hype or or fucking shine, you know. Like it, it you could see that it just came from just straight fucking. As I say, no, in Liverpool, it's been bad lately. People are just killing themselves. Probably, probably double figures now over the past wow. ten years. People who I who I know or know of who've killed themselves. You know what I mean? Well, it, I, I, it was fucking beautiful, and I was impressed by it. And uh, it just made it just it made you like such a a complete package, you know, of like just entertaining, fantastic fighting personality, and then this like genuine care. That's just me, lad. What you see is what you get. I always say. People always ask. Oh, I've got a proper itchy nose here. <laughs> <laughs> Dig that shit. Uh, people always ask him. Oh, is it an act? This and that. No, just think I'd be able to keep up an act like this. It's yeah. how hard this would be, lad, to be like this all the time if it's not you. Dude. And I don't like people who are like that. Like you might like them, but I don't like like the Colby Covingtons of the world. Who like, about, act like, like a pro wrestler. It's it's just not me. Yeah. How about John Jones? Like. Hmm. When uh, when he he's one way and then he's the other way and then like you've got the live mic that oh yeah that was hilarious that I don't know what what did he say uh, I'll literally kill you something like that <laughs> yeah. Jones is here Jones is with Cormy and he don't know the cameras are still on them you think the cameras have went off <laughs> and they start just saying stuff to each other and like, what did he say I'll come in there and spit in your face and John goes I'll literally kill you if you don't answer me. <laughs> Yeah, they're having a little back and forth, and like, and and uh, <laughs> you know, John's post-fight interview when when he knocked out Cormier and then like tried to play like the it, it, it didn't ring, no didn't ring authentic. <laughs> it, 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 it As was, I say, I'm just upon it, uh, unapologetically myself. If you don't like me, fuck off. Evidently, I mean, if you Sounds like, like me, you, Mike, shit. and if you That's don't like you Darren Till, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Our next partner has a product I use literally every day. I started taking AG1 because I hated taking pills and vitamins and wanted a supplement that actually tastes great. It doesn't taste fucking super healthy or anything, but it's got a mild feeling when it goes down. I look forward to taking it every morning. It has really a tropical taste. So what's this stuff? With one delicious scoop of AG1, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole foods, sourced superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. What do you think about that? I think it's lifestyle friendly and something I would like to participate in and people who I love to participate with me, yeah. Matter if you eat vegan, paleo, dairy-free, gluten-free. It costs less than $3 a day. You're investing in your health and it's cheaper than your cold brew habit. Oh, that's some cold shit. You know, usually, Every time I wake up, I got to take like six pills, right? And by the end of the week or by the end of two weeks, I got to go restock on them. Like, they get really expensive. How do you feel about that? Well, it sounds like AG1 is a great alternative for you, though. You're right. You're right. For every purchase, we donate to the organization helping to get nutritional food to kids in need, including No Kid Hungry Hand in the U.S. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop in a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. 
To make it easy, Athletic Green is going to give you a free year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free traveling packs, too. With your first purchase, all you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash hotboxing. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash hotboxing to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. If you haven't heard already, it's smooth sack summer. When you're playing in the summer sun, make sure you escape from pube to bun. That's right. This is the summer to keep your balls cool while still looking hot with that Manscaped. The leader in below-the-belt grooming is making sure we all have a ball this summer by giving our pants partners everything they need to stay fresh, Mike. The Manscaped Performing Pack 4.0 has everything you need to prepare that summer bod. Ooh. Inside the package, you'll find their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker, Whoa. ear and nose hair trimmer, mm. crop preserver ball deodorant, Woo. trop reviver toner. Perform a box of brief mm. and a travel bag. Mm. Their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents. You don't want to get Oh, yeah, no, nigga. You don't want to get fucked up. Thanks to the advanced skin safe technology, the lawnmower 4.0 has a 7,000 RPM motor, mm. a new multi function on off switch can engage a travel lock and gives you the ability to turn that 4,000K LED spotlight on and off when needed for a more precise shave, yo. Yo, Dig, where I did mention this trimmer is also waterproof, too. Nah. For real, man, we're born. Now that you can have the perfect haircut, use Manscaped's liquid formulations to keep that freshness, even at the hottest BBQs. Not for you, Mike. Most importantly, use the crop preserver, ball deodorant to stay cool in the heat. With a soothing aloe vera formula is the best in the business for below the waist freshness. And this clear drying formula will keep looking good while smelling good, yo. Off the ah. hook, Manscaped even throws in two free gifts to their performance package 4.0, the Manscaped boxes and the shed travel bag that will bring your comfort to another level. Uh-oh. Wearing sandals with some nasty toenails like me during the summer months. I have good toenails now. <laughs> My shit's fucked White. up. Take a look at the Shears 2.0, a luxury nail grooming kit. This kit includes stainless steel, nail cutters, tweezers, and grooming scissors. With the performance package, your balls will be ready to Whoa. impress. You know what I'm saying? But make sure you cover Big the rest ball. with the Shears 2.0, mate. Cover it. All day. Get 20% off. Free shipping with the code HOTBOXING at manscaped.com. And that's again, that's 20% off plus free shipping with the code HOTBOXING at manscaped.com. It's Smooth Sack Summer, boys. Uh-oh. Get on board or get left behind. I was like, Mike, man. Yo, everybody was like you, man. He's like you, though. He's like a little white Mike. No, it's, it's huh? the truth, you know. He has, to, he has to know who he is before somebody tell him who he is mm. yeah. in this particular business. So this is who he is. I mean, I, I've asked Mike about the mentality of going in the ring. What's your mentality? Are you just fully desensitized? Is it from where you're from? Or, I don't know. Or, or you're so nuts? Was... You're crazy? I see you gyrating after you win. And... Yeah, like... I fully enjoy it, you know what I mean? It's, from when I walk out, I'm a, I think when the cage door shuts, I'm half like a different person, you know what I mean? When does the fear come in? When 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 does it go? Is, is it a, is fear doesn't come in, you know what I mean? Like, wow, no fear. You about to fight a guy that can rip your head off. I have, a, I have a saying, and I've said it since I was like 16, 17. There's no point in being nervous when you know you're going to win. Wow. Wow. Seriously? And the only other times like, I've felt nervous, I've lost. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? So... Can you relate to that, Mike? No point in being nervous if you know you're gonna win. I don't know. It depends on how you do, how you explain nervous. How you define what nervous? Do you go in the ring and I got um, butterflies? Is that scared? Is that nervous? Yeah. Then that means I'm nervous. Yeah. That's so I, th I think it's a possibility I could probably lose and get humiliated. Yeah, that's a possibility to make me nervous. But when it starts, am I the greatest fighter God created? It shows. Yeah. Wow. But it's just, but you, have to, but you have to acknowledge the possibility what he that said. something can go wrong. <laughs> what, what he, he said, said lad. <laughs> 
Yeah. I mean, you kind of have to be the greatest to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Slides. That was that was some heavy shit that I just witnessed right there. Yo, but but, but Steve's anxiety understand. of like having anxiety to get the person first, and like also, also UFC is like a fucking mystery, man. Whoever hits who first, oh, but like you probably found it easier to get on stage and start talking mm. on the mic, where I'd find that a lot more nerve wracking standing on the stage and talking, you know what I mean, in front of thousands of people. It it uh, oh, it's shit. a different type of fear. Yeah. It, yeah. And, and and like in my position where it's like, oh shit, dude, I gotta get on this fucking roof and jump off of this yeah. fucking roof. You know, I bet like, that one's different, lad. You know, there's like, oh, like wait, I gotta get in front of this fucking bowl. I gotta get punched <laughs> in the dick. Yeah, like now that I shouldn't say bull because I've never, I've, I've never fucked with bulls. That's the Knoxville thing, but but yeah, I, I get what it's like to put yourself in harm's way. India's a pretty gnarly place. What the fuck is that? All right. Yo, Patty, man, what's going on, man? That's a no. Is, is, is that is that what, a food what break? Wings what wings are they? Mm, a barbecue, man. Hey, how, yo, Patty, how long are you in the states? Uh, fly home September second. Fly home September second. Come on, Steve, home. Like, like uh, well, be. I'm always in San Diego, lad. San Diego oh, is like my second home. You know what I mean? When I'm in America, I'm in San Diego generally. Cool, man. So I was just I'll at that show the other day. I'll be, I'll be down there tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going back tonight. To going San Diego? Yeah, yeah, going back tonight. Here, <laughs> dude, fucking... Um, it's some, it's some indigenous guy. The missing link. Steven is a missing link. <laughs> Human missing links. I'm not lying. You think I'm lying? I don't know. I'm okay, dude, check, check this out. <laughs> Mike Dyson. <laughs> so this this guy fucking comes up with this tattoo design, Mike Dyson. Yeah, oh, and I'm so like, right and right. I'm like, you win. Oh, my pizza. Steve, what are you? So, dude, I tattooed. Yeah, that's a bit thick. That's a bit thick for me, yeah. though. So I, I did this tattoo today. <laughs> Mike Dyson. <laughs> that's on you. No, no. Oh, it's okay. on this homeboy over there, but I did the tattoo. <laughs> See, dude, I'm trying. I'm doing a good what's fucking job tattooing. What's his name? What's his name? <laughs> his name's Michael. Hey, Michael, come Michael. over here, brother. Yeah, get on over here. Let's see this tattoo. Big yeah. Mike. Little weirdo. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I flew him from England. Dude, this <laughs> one. <laughs> Patty. You see that shit, right? You see that shit? That's a pelter. You see that dog shit on there? Is that a curtain? vacuum? It's a, yeah. it's a vacuum. Now, dude, it's Mike Dyson. Pa that right, Patty, this guy is from England. He drives a double-decker bus nice in England. Hull. Hull, yeah. yeah. Nice, lad, nice. Remember when you were in the Prem? <laughs> he uh, drives a double-decker bus for a living. In... The hell was that, Mike? You saw what? that tattoo? Yeah, the... We want some pizza, though. That's, I'm not going to eat that. It's a bit too Dyson. thick for me. It doesn't look healthy either. Look like it's I'm good, dude. I can't, I can't fuck with that. It's too thick. <laughs> we just got it. It's fresh. Not just <laughs> Here, dude. Why are the pieces so thick? I thought he was too thick they for want, me. They, they making fun of fucking Patty the Fatty. That's too, why. Too much. <laughs> too, the game weight. too much bread, lad. <laughs> oh, here, dude. I, I, there, we already have a, on um, IG DM. So he was my winner. I flew him out from the UK. And now I'm just trying to spoil him rotten for a couple of days. Yeah. Sick that he's having the time of his life, that fella. From, yeah, like, like he had no idea that when I tattooed from Hull, my... From Hull to L.A., he's fucking smashed it. Dude, can I say this, like, actually on the record, on the podcast, that the last time I was here with you, number one, I thought that Wu-Tang story with, with uh, Raekwon fucking strangling me and you watching the footage of that happening, like, made me really nervous about what you thought of me after that. And then when the fucking podcast was going to come out, I was like, oh, I don't know. I got real nervous again. Like, <laughs> and, and the fact that you're still cool with me, that fucking means a lot. And I just want to say on the record, Mike, I oh. love you <laughs> fucking forever. Steve-O, Steve-O, no way I wish, I wish I could. I wish I had the nerve to be able to judge somebody. <laughs> I wish I had that privilege. I guess I'm so, I'm so jealous of somebody. I wish I had the privilege to be able to, you know, do that shit. Dude. Judge somebody. I wish I had that privilege. Patty, one mm -hmm. more time. What he said. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be fucking at the highest level of the human race to say those words like yeah. Mike Tyson just I wish said. I could. That is so fucking beautiful. And I just, like we were talking off the camera. 
you know, like before the podcast, we were talking about how ODB is my hero. And fucking Mike Tyson, you're right there with him. But on your Instagram, did I see that you have like the most smoking hot girlfriend? She's there. There she is. Uh, there, there, there she's right there. Hey, hey. hey. look at Steve O is checking you out. <laughs> Steve O. <laughs> I, I saw you with an absolutely gorgeous woman, and you're right. How about that? There she is. You didn't even see the vision go right there. <laughs> <laughs> Total Viking, right? In yeah. This room. <laughs> Well, good on you, Patty. <laughs> Speaking of heroes, man, who uh, kind of like designed your fighting skills? Who's your trainer? Mick Holtzad. Yeah, yeah. Paul Rimmer, you know what I mean? Um, he's been my head coach since day one. So I could say he's like my second dad, you know what I mean? Beyond my actual dad, he's the next father figure I've got. Um, that's what any fighter, right? Everybody has to be like a fatherly kind of, like yeah. you went through the same thing, right, You have Mike? to have a mentor that you want to make happy. Mm. That's where it starts. I want to make him happy for putting me in the position that I'm in now. I want him to. I want him to get something out of it. Is he brutal? Is he like perfectionist? No, Not perfectionist. The um, everything we do, we have like a system in the gym. You know what I mean? So, like, our, our gym's different from other gyms. If you go to another gym, they'll do boxing, they'll do Muay Thai, they'll do wrestling, mm. they'll do Jiu Jitsu. We don't. We do MMA. Oh wow! You know what I mean? We just do everything in one. Wow. And that's that's why our gym is as good as it is, because we don't we don't do everything separate. We just do it as MMA, and that's why I think I'm as good as I am because I never done a different sport first. I never done boxing, then gone into MMA. I never done wrestling, then gone into MMA. I just done MMA. You know what I mean? So so within the gym, you don't have a striking coach separate mm. from. Um, well, my striking coach in the gym is Ellis, who's the assistant head MMA coach. So like. It's just, I've got a separate boxing coach, you know what I mean? But that's about it. I've had a separate Taekwondo coach, yeah. but that's about it. Me and Strength the training? Oh, yeah. I've got an S&C coach. Yeah. yeah. S&C coach and nutritionist. Probably, probably, they probably laugh his head off as I'm saying that while I'm sitting here eating chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's up with the pay, though? I thought they'd get, like, crazy millions or something. They'd uh, buy Phantoms and, and, and Rolex. We, we wish, lads. We huh? wish. <laughs> Twelve thousand? Nah, twelve. That was in March. I okay. got more money in um, from the last fight. If he keeps winning, keep his record clean. When I keep winning, he has a chance to make the big money. Yeah, that's it. I mean, you're gonna have to fight what Floyd Mayweather or somebody. Nah, like, what gonna, the keep, hell, man? Like, keep winning. Let those people keep calling your name. That's it. People just keep, keep talking about name. me and mm. yeah, keep um, talking about me and just keep getting me paid. <laughs> How many fights on your contract right now? What did you think about that? Like Another that? Three, so I think. I'm not sure. Another three. Well, I mean, him classically coming from where he came from, like you seeing Floyd and. Well, here let, let, let's put let's put it in perspective. That wasn't really a that wasn't really a MMA fight. Put it into perspective. It's a big okay. money fight. Patty has fought in the UFC a total of three times. Wow. So was March the first fight? Second. Second. The first one was behind closed doors, wasn't it? Last year in Vegas. Mm. Right, oh, in the Apex. The first one was in the Apex in September. Right, okay. And the Apex is good, but I need a crowd, me. Dad, you you do well with a crowd. Yeah, I do better with a crowd. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, dude, you got to kind of pay your dues. He's the first few fights in. He's got three more fights on his contract. Once those are up, I'll get a new one before that's finished, though. Ooh, you can renegotiate before you fight out your contract. Oh, I know. Well, That's how big of a fucking star he is already. And the fact that he's comfortable saying that out loud at a public level is confidence that needs to be fucking respected. Yo, Mike, man, <laughs> this is crazy. I wish I could eat like he ate. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work for 56, Get baby. some wings, Daniel. I won't be able to shit for a week. <laughs> They're not spicy. I won't be able to shit. I just can't the bread, the, the red meat, I won't be able to shit. The, <laughs> the pizza won't be the able to The burger looks all right, like. Mm -hmm. like this. Oh, I feel like a blow who orders a beef, Who orders a beef burger without cheese on though? Mm -mm. <laughs> that was all that was <laughs> No meat. Mm. <laughs> it's sitting on the toilet waiting for shit to come out and it just doesn't come. <laughs> Last Anyone round. you want to see him go up against? Any dream? Uh... <clears throat> Who would I like to see Patty fight? Um, O'Malley. He can't fight O'Malley the same way, right? No, he's too small. He's um, 
Yeah, He's a 135 Yeah, you can't I'm 155 155 um, My weight's a shark tank, huh? <laughs> My weight should have like a top 30. I'm the top 15. Dr. Dog's last tour, 2021. Dr. Dizog, the dog's in the house. Roof, oh. roof. What just happened? Oh. oh. Uh, I think it's this uh, Bryce guy, the thug nasty. Like he's Mitchell a featherweight, yeah, he's, right? He's 145. Yeah, featherweight. Okay. He's kind of an American patty the batty a little bit, thug nasty. I, like, thug the, nasty? I like the hype. The hype <laughs> yeah. I like guy. thug nasty. He's a madman. Yeah, he's yeah. good. He's a madman. Um. I'm trying to think who else at 155 that it's tough to imagine a dream fight for Patty because, like, you don't want him fighting a ranked opponent. Nobody does. Patty doesn't no, want to fight. No, I won't be just yet. I won't for a while. I know I won't. I'm, I'm right. not delusional. You know what I mean? Right. I'm not getting ahead of myself. Right. I'm taking each fight as it comes, and I'm, I'm fighting at lightweight, lad. I know my next fight isn't going to be a ranked opponent. Because the divisions that stacked, and I'm gonna have to win like another three or four fights to get a ranked opponent. So, mm. I'm, I'm, when, I'm not worrying, lad. I'm not rushing. I'm just. I agree. On I agree with you. I think uh, he keeps doing what he's doing, and it's good. What did you think about uh, Cheeto Vera versus Dominic Cruz? It went exactly like I thought. So what the? You thought that Dominic Cruz was gonna come out that fucking hot and aggressive and violent? Yeah, I thought he was gonna be out quite him, but then he'd get finished. You know what I mean? Because Cheeto can bang. Yeah, he Cheeto's can. Cheeto's not small for 135. He's big. You know and he's mean? never been finished. No. Oh. And he can bang. You know what I mean? He can, he can throw power. And I thought that he would end up catching him. It was either going to be Dom by decision or Cheeto by finish. I, I, I was surprised to see Dominic come out as hot as he did. It didn't seem like in, in Dominic's last fight. He's pretty fancy move work. He had movement. Yeah. yeah, the footwork. And then Cheeto talked shit about his footwork after the fight. <laughs> Did he? I didn't know this. Yeah, not. dude, he talked shit about his foot. Said like his footwork. Uh, he's got a, a terrible style for MMA. He said. He said he's, he's dancing around left, right. Maybe that's good for boxing. It's but... not that bad though, because he won world titles with it, and that you can't say that. <laughs> I mean, I, I, two time UFC world. He looks right. good doing it. WEC champ. Yeah. Moving around. Yeah. Looks good. I uh, I don't disagree with you there. I, I, well, he's, I, a dan he's a dancer. Like he's, once again, Patty has like spoken the truth. <laughs> yeah. Is defense like? Uh, is there like a defensive fighter that's just known for defense only? Like just and then they just catch your defense ass secretly. Defense only. Like catch your ass secretly. That's it. Mayweather, you, right? Mayweather's known for defense. In MMA, you can't really just be defense only. Crowds be booing the fuck out of that yeah. shit, right? Kind of if they boo you in the UFC, you'll never fight again on there. No. <laughs> oh, shit, man. That's how come they're excited. You boo, if they booing you, you'll never see you again on there. If I were to think of the most defensive fighter in the UFC, I would say Khabib. Mm. And yeah. that's because the best defense is offense. And he does such a good job. Khabib did such a good job of not getting hit because he just immediately took people down mm. and put them on the Dagestani Submissive. handcuffs. And, like, that's defense, right? Best defense is offense. Yeah, Khabib. That's that's who uh, I'm going with. Breaking bones. Oh, he'll see him fight. He'll beat oh. everybody. He'll be tired. Okay, now here's the most... See it. Nah, I'd love to see him fight Charles Oliveira. Dude, here's the most exciting thing going on in Patty's division, 155, in the UFC. We have the vacant light... Uh, it's not lightweight. vacant, though, is it? Right, Charles not... Oliveira is the champ. Right, you know technically, I mean? technically, technically it's, it's vacant. Technically it's vacant. Right. But really, he missed weight by half a pound. Okay. Oliveira's the champ. But... We... His defense is to equal Khabib's three record, basically. Of course. I, I, I absolutely yeah. agree. Now, when Khabib was in the UFC, nobody could touch him. He, he, there, was, there was just Khabib and then everybody else. Then Khabib retired. And then there's just been kind of everybody else is how it felt. But then now, of everybody else, Charles Oliveira has risen up the, to become this legend. And we're now seeing Khabib's protege, Islam Makachev, like looking to be the next Khabib, and it's the most exciting fight coming up, Islam Makachev versus Charles Oliveira. And if Islam Makachev wins, then 
there's no chance Khabib would ever want to fight him. But if Oliveira beats fucking <laughs> Islam Makachev, if Oliveira wins that fight, I think we have a serious conversation to have about Khabib actually coming back into the mix to take oh on God. Charles Oliveira. Am I wrong? The right life, bro. It would be a, a fucking event like we've never seen before. <laughs> and? I like you, man. <laughs> I'm not fighting, so no one's asked. No. <laughs> no. Nah, I, I proper make Charles. Lad, he's one of the best in the world at the minute he's called. He's the best at 155. I think he's going to beat Makachev quite convincingly. You do? Yeah. What are the odds on that fight? Can somebody look up Makachev, Oliveira? I'm sure. Odds? I'm sure that Makachev's the favorite. You're sure Makachev's the favorite, yeah, and you're saying crazy. the odds makers have it wrong. Yeah. You have an amazing appetite, Patty. I guess a bussy on the way. Yeah. Holy huh? shit. I have a sandwich, I should say to you. I have a sandwich on the way. Yeah, yeah all that shit. Oh, uh, dude, that's the one we were fucking looking for. Minus 200. Are you trying to say that you don't watch UFC fights all the time? No, I don't really watch UFC fights. Wow. wow. I don't know. That's, 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 that's fascinating to me. I'm not sitting up till six in the oh, morning. Oh, that makes sense Ruining too. my sleeping pattern. <laughs> well, that the makes time sense. Zone. <laughs> when the fights yeah. could end up being shit. <laughs> all right. uh, do you pay attention to your division? <laughs> not even. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay it. I'll take, like, if I'm... If there's an early UFC on, well, not early for you, but early, like a West Coast one, mm. like that one the other day. Mm -hmm. If I was back home for that, would have started at about 8 o'clock or something, so I would have watched that by hour just to, before I went to bed, I would have watched right. a bit of it, but I'm not ruining my sleeping pattern like that, lad, especially when I'm in fight camp. I've got to be up on the Monday morning at like half 8, 8 <laughs> o'clock, half 8 to get to the gym for 10. Yeah, I'm not wow. staying up for that UFC. Why would you get to the gym by 10 in the morning when you're training for a fight that happens at like whatever time of the I evening? I train every morning at 10. Some mornings get there from now on, but every okay. morning at 10. What there you usually do, Mike? Well, for a fight? How early you usually get up? Oh, first thing in the morning. What? Just like five, five, four six? in the morning. Yeah, four fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Wouldn't catch Lord. me getting up at four in the morning. Uh, <laughs> that's why you do it, because you don't you don't want to. Yeah, no, you wouldn't catch me getting up at four in the morning. You got a lot no of people you won't catch at four uh, in the morning. No Trust chance, Mike. People will still be out partying from the night before. <laughs> yeah, I see that. When, I'm running, when I'm running, I see people coming back. Driving party. home, yeah. Party. Man, I love you, Mike, Mike. <laughs> I mean, how, you have early breakfasts at, oh, like, 3.30 in the morning? Or no, I don't have breakfast. I'll, listen, I'll, I'll get up. I run four or five miles, come back, do my exercise and stuff, and then eat. Um, get my sh getting um my shower, get in the cold tub, get out, um, eat my food, <laughs> watch <laughs> television. Yo, I'm dying to see what you do. I mean, obviously we got the food part out the way. Look at that. <laughs> I just got up, brush my teeth, and then go to the gym. <laughs> You hear this, Mike? Some mornings I'll have... Everybody's different. Some mornings I'll have breakfast, some mornings I won't. Some mornings Laura will drop me off the gym, some mornings I'll ride me by. <laughs> you never know. You when know. you were a kid, you just, I mean, when you were young... Let's I see mean, what happens when he goes to yeah. another level of competition. <laughs> and see that he's still training you train for that kind of stuff, man, like... Even when you were young, did you watch the original old UFC? Where there no. Were, 300 pounds, 500 pounds versus an 80 it's pounder. It's tough to watch back then. No. <laughs> Blood um, everywhere. Yeah, and I've, uh, I've only really watched, I've watched them now, but I've only really watched the modern UFC. Really. Not even the old school ones? Like, yeah, I've watched all like UFC. It was ridiculous back then, right? It was yeah. like, they were like, the and weight the classes one was, was a, always a champion. Yeah. <laughs> What's the thing? Gracie was beating yeah. everybody. Remember Gary Gracie? Goodrich yeah. nearly killing people with elbows and that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have cauliflower ear? No. No. I don't oh, got wow. a napkin. Is that a is that the horror for like fighters to get that like? No, you more wrestlers, wrestlers, head grips. You can't get like an operation, like you know you can't. how the girls get fake booties and all you that. Can't. You, like, you can train like, like uh, yeah. Once the once fighting. they're gone, lad, they're gone. Like there's a lad in our gym, Adam, one of my coaches now. What? And he got one years ago. Um, 
on his one. Like, he just had it drained and he got a few needles out. You have to drain the blood, you see. And um, he sparred with me on the Friday and he's been lying on his back. And like, <laughs> as I've punched him, like an arm pound, he's turned his head and I've punched him directly in the ear. Oh, Lad, man. The next day, we got 18 needles out of his ear. 18 full of blood out, out of his ear. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've only got like this little bit inside there. Like, okay, you can't okay. even see it, you have to yeah. feel it. You know what I mean? That little bit there. And that's not off wrestling, that's off getting punched in the ear as I was trying to leg lock someone. You know what I mean? So it's not even off wrestling. Like, yeah. there, you can feel it there. A little time. Feel it? Uh, wait, yeah, what does it feel like, Steve? Yeah. What does it feel like? Yeah, it feels like. Uh, feel it if you want, that's just a little bit of hard thing, yo. My uh, mates' ones are well worse in the gym. For, uh, like inside, there, though. Yeah, right there. And dead blood. Oh, shit. Yeah, see, it's just hard, just yeah. dead blood, yeah, exactly. It's like a little, little wally. Yeah, yeah. It's, pretty, it's pretty cool. I mean, I was trying to get cauliflower ear like a motherfucker. I just couldn't get it. Was it? Yeah, there's some people that just can't get it. <laughs> well, you was actively trying. Hundred percent. You were a sick motherfucker, you know that. Yeah, I actively had... trying to get cauliflower. I've never heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> you are a madman. You know why, dude? Because when a man has cauliflower ear, he gets respect. You know the fighter. You know the fighter. He didn't yeah. get that by playing games. Yeah. Nobody, nobody fucks with you if you have cauliflower ear. One thing I always say to my mates like, is, like, if you ever start fighting with someone and the first thing you do is throw a leg kick, just say, lad, leave it there, shake hands, let's forget about it. Because you know <laughs> that you know what they're doing. Yeah. Oh, someone leg kicks you, lad, you know about it. I mean, especially someone who can throw a leg kick, you know about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mike Dad, is an expert in ears, let's man. Let's just stop, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Experts in, <laughs> in ears. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out, man. I told Mike this the last time I was here. I got a book coming out, and in the photo section, it's a fucking photo of Mike fucking biting my ear. And the caption, I said, for multiple Jackass movies, I pitched the idea of like, hey, I want Mike, Mike to Tyson to bite a piece off of my ear. <laughs> And, uh, and 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 I said, and this was the closest I ever got. Like you know, just him. Listen, man. Did you see, did you see Steve O beat fucking Johnny Knoxville ass and he took his head off? He crushed, he crushed it, he cracked his, he cracked his skull. I, I don't remember doing the, that. The wrestler, <laughs> big, the big, big. Oh no, yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say Butter that. Bean. Remember Butter being knocked Johnny uh, Knoxville? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But he probably he didn't mess yeah. around. He, he didn't like go light with him. He fucking put him a kip. Yeah, yeah. he just went he bump. Snoring. He didn't mess around. He wasn't like going light. He just went, yeah, I'm gonna put I, I one said, right wow, on your fucking chin now. Like oh shit. Yeah. This yeah, in a shit. What's it called, like? Jacket. Oh, no, but uh, it, this was called like. Oh, shopping the center, yeah, yeah. shopping Watch center, this. boxing, Watch yeah. department store, boxing Holy or something. Shit! Oh my god! Holy! Yeah, butter being dead. Oh, watch this, man! Oh my god! He was sleeping on butter bean back then. He was a, a beast. Yeah, man, had that, that, man, had them titties. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Yo! I don't believe he did this. Is he serious? Oh. Him watch up, now, look. watch when he actually well, catches he, him though. And he, then he hits the counter on his way down. Which look, is look, look, look. Him up, look. look, he gets down, he lets him back up. I know he does. He ends up dropping him properly now, doesn't he? Like, absolutely puts him unconscious. And look, yeah, look. He's snoring. Knoxville's got balls like that. He's just like, yeah, Ooh, come on. Look at balls being yeah. this room. <laughs> he says, don't get up to him, doesn't he? No, he did not. And now he gets up. I forgot and about this shit. Oh, look, look. he's 32. He said, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have yeah. been fucked up. Yeah, it's he, hit Alex, on, he hit something on the floor. <laughs> like, I've seen Knoxville snore like that too many times. Look at, his, look at him. Whoa. Too many times? His, like, I worry about his brain, dude. Can he see to you, though? I mean, I don't know. I just, I, I worry. I worry that he's had so many fucking heavy duty. You see that stuff, though, man? <laughs> I think, killed him. I think CTE comes from like a lot of repeated, yeah, multiple like, repeated lots head. of little strikes. Yeah. Knox has had like just a Mad fucking He's been like head butted by buffaloes and that, and fucking. Yeah. 
And like a fucking handful of real Bulls horns up his ass all in there. <laughs> yeah. Ready, yeah. man him. Well, dude, I'll tell you what, man. I think I'm going to fucking... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break out, dude. What do you mean, dude? I think, I think I'm gonna Where out, going to break out. Where are you going? Where the fuck you going, man? I got, I got my dude from England. <laughs> oh, he's just sitting over there waiting for him. <laughs> no, 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 he's he's like, like, set, some you need fucking, some antibiotics for his hand. <laughs> some cool fucking <laughs> vacation you flew me out on, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, but dude, but we'll, we'll be in San Diego yeah. tomorrow, dude. Message me tomorrow. Yeah, dude, I love it, man. Like, is, oh, is, is there, like, a, is tomorrow night good? Yeah, yeah, I'll probably just be chilling tomorrow night. I'll just shoot me a message. Dude, I love it. Dude, I love it, man. It'll be fucking fantastic. You know that, dude, do you have tattoos? Nope, not a single one. Good. Wow. Don't do it. Not a single one. Don't do it. That's the cool Steve-o. way to be. Steve-O. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, right. How many have you got, Mike? Have you got loads? Five, no, one, two, five. Dude, I was just begging Mike to let, let me fucking tattoo him. Uh-huh. And, and he's like, dude, like, stop He's it, like, man. fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, like, I, I thought, like, I might have a chance, and I did not have a chance. But, uh... You have it. great skills, though. Watch your work. You have magnificent. Yeah, that Mike Dyson. <laughs> that Mike Dyson. Yeah. That's Mike, a bit Dyson. Of a, yeah. Mike Dyson. Mike Dyson, man. What a bit of art that is. Yeah, man. It's uh, it, it's a lot. It's a lot of good fun. And and uh, <laughs> man, the the way Mike was just like, dude, let's just chill and hang out, man. Mm-hmm. I love you, bro. We don't gotta do nothing. Like, let's just fucking. He's just a be great cool. guy. Look, he's eating blueberries. What the fuck? I'm on the fucking bro. podcast. Look, yeah, you let, liking that shit? Let's just be cool and chill out. And then and then my, Mike's team saying, dude, the tortilla challenge, Mike. It's gonna be great. You and Steve both slap each other. He's, Mike says. I don't want to fucking, fucking slap anybody, man. Dude. I don't fucking... I've seen that sort of thing, though. That is quite funny, yeah. <laughs> that would be fucking funny. Oh, shit. Because then there's... Rocky Cocock. Then they were saying, well, if Mike won't fucking get in on the tortilla challenge, what if it was Steve-O and Patty? <laughs> and Mike can say, is there a winner? Do you judge who won? No, yeah, there's a winner. Yeah, it's like if someone laughs or something. And they swear, the whoever spits the water, water out, yeah. I mean, I haven't seen it, but... Uh, I've only seen it online. I've never done one. I've seen well, it. Well, it could be it, done, don't you? got the patty here, somebody? You could probably knock the fucking tooth out of my mouth. Yeah, um... <laughs> <laughs> you don't have tortillas, right? You got tortillas? So, wait, is it just regular tortilla chips? I uh, know, it's, it's a like... a big fucking pancake. Tortilla. Flour tortilla. A flour tortilla. Yeah, tortilla. So, what? Did you bring tortillas? Oh, my no, God. I, I, it wasn't my idea. You? you have tortillas? No way. Oh, shit, here they come. This is the challenge. You gotta smack somebody with that shit? That's small, huh? I mean, dude. I've got a bit of water, do you hear me? Like, I'm fucking ready for anything. Mike, they keep pushing, man, but I'm not part of it. Patty the baddie. This is what we need from you, all right? This is the most important part of the show. You got tens of millions of people watching them, watching you. What do you want them to know? No, just they're watching you. Even if you say they, you got them right now. They're gonna be your fan forever. No matter if you say something ridiculous or you say something cool. What do you want them to know about? How can they get in touch with you so they can see you again? Get on me social media mainly, you know. That's how you see me. Tell them, know tell, what them I mean? where, tell them the names of me. Social media at the UFC body on Insta. Um, Twitter have disabled me accounts because they're the gang of wrongins. So just don't use Twitter. Um, yeah, Insta. TikTok, all that. There's nowhere to find me anyway. That's why he's watching this. Mm-hmm. There's nowhere to find me. Just go and do it. Okay, this is another ending of a great episode <laughs> of Hot Boxing. This is another thing we oh, must do. Hot smacking. <laughs> you must get an extra to go chain. Come over here, we got an thing. Yeah, someone give me this on the way in. Oh, you got two now? Got yeah. How come he gets two? We're getting then? another one. I'm getting two, lad. I'm living here, me, you, lad. You like, like a little Dirk or something, man. You like a little Dirk. We got some weed and stuff in here for you. Oh, yeah. Flying. Killed it. Yeah, let me look. You got you in there, man. I'm getting a little jealous, man. Look at that. Look, yo, Mike, why you got this? I ain't get this, man. He's Patty the Batty. Why are they Patty the this? Batty, baby. You got to listen. Once don't you get a bunch of motherfuckers up. screaming your name when you walk into an arena, you're going to get some gold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, got some, you got some secret weed, two, Tyson yeah, 2.0 in there too, man. man. Don't smoke that before a fight. Okay, let's, let's end this right now. Hey, this is Mike Tyson ending another magnificent episode of Hot Boxing. Mike boy. Tyson yeah. leaving you now. 
Who can help? And the baddie man. The, <laughs> bad, the bad man. <laughs> the baddie. 